how to remove objects from your photos using artificial intelligence. Now, Canva Pro has two built in, actually three, artificial intelligence tools in their platform. There's the background removal tool, which we covered in this video up here. There's the magic edit tool and there's the magic eraser tool. The magic eraser tool allows us to remove objects from our photos. If you do not have a Canva Pro subscription, I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get it in the link in the description down below for your free trial anyway. Let's take this first example here. It's a marketing photo of a gentleman in a warehouse looking at his iPad. There are two green buttons on the wall. I want to get rid of the left-hand side button. We're going to click the image, click edit photo, click magic eraser, and we're simply going to brush over the part of the photo that has the button and the shadow, and Canva is going to take care of the rest and remove that green button. Pretty cool. Next example here is a real estate photo. So as you can see on the floor here, there are two three, four bottles that the person who was out drinking the night before left on the floor and the photographer didn't take them out of the picture. So again, with the brush tool selected, we're going to brush out the bottles here. Don't be afraid to overlap on the carpet here. We've got to make sure we get all of the bottle. And again, Canva is going to take care of removing those bottles for us. Pretty cool. Now, if you realize that those bottles were decorative and they're actually supposed to be a part of the photograph, you can always go ahead and reset erasings and that's gonna return the photo to its original state. Now, the third example here is a little bit more complicated. There's some uh, product photography of product photography and we see over here on the right-hand side that we've got the tape and some string left in the picture. We didn't mean to do that, but it's there anyway. So we're gonna click the photo, click magic eraser. And we're gonna go ahead and we can decrease this brush size just a little bit. And we are going to get every single part of this photo here. Now, there is some of it that's overlapping the boxes and her t-shirt and as well as the table that the objects are sitting on. It's okay. Canva is smart enough to know what parts of your photo it should recreate which parts of your photo it wants to take out. And if you're not happy with the results, you can always reset and start over. But what I recommend is you actually go ahead and do the brush twice. Uh, once to remove the biggest part of the object and the second time is to just kind of fine tune the generative fill that Canva has done for you. We see this part here, didn't really do a great job. We're just gonna go over this a second time with our brush, wait for Canva to do its thing. Boom, it's done a pretty good job there. Now you can also tell Canva to go ahead and add objects to your photos that didn't exist there in the first place. So with this product photo here, I went ahead and I used the magic edit tool to actually add in another flower in the bottom right hand corner. Now to use the magic edit tool in Canva, I want you to watch this video here that I made specifically for you. If you want more tutorial videos and software simply explained, make sure you subscribe to this channel and give this video a like. That's why I'm here is to help you understand software and to use it with simple, effective tutorial videos. That's it for this tutorial. My name is Steve and I am late for lunch.